hello and we start a new session of CB and this session is on the values of the customer. This is your 19th session of consumer behavior and I am Dr. Shravandi Mukherjee from Vinod Gupta School of Management IIT Kharagpur will be presenting this session to you. The basic learning objectives of this session are first the concept of value, what uh, value means, second is the relevance of values in consumer behavior, why do we study values in consumer behavior and then I will talk about uh, the Vincent Scott Lamont model of consumer value system. Although there are two other value uh, measurement scales, one is by Rokiak and other is by Godson, but at this moment I am not discussing that, but since that is more related to the cultural aspect. So, I will discuss it in the session of, I will discuss those in the session of cultural values. Now, uh, for this session I will restrict myself to the Vincent Scott Lamont model and the finally, I will talk about the impact of values in marketing strategy formulation. Now, we first talk about uh, the context of why uh, we are we talking about value, what is the meaning of it and how it has evolved, the understanding and study of value, how it has evolved. So, the context is the role of values in consumer behavior actually is still in a very nascent area of research, because so far uh, in the research, uh, we talk about the cultural values, but the values as a whole that what is the global value, what is the, what are the core values and what are its implications. So, the studies in these domain is quite limited. So, Rokiak and Gordon also developed some scales uh, that is for measurement of value, but then these values are mostly the cultural values. So, I will discuss again as I have said in the culture session, but later on what we see in 1977 journal Vinson, Jerome Scott and Lawrence Lamont have investigated the role of value on consumer decision making and its implication to the marketer. So, uh, thereby by following their model, I assume that this is one of the factor which, uh, which, which could be considered as an internal determinant or the personal determinant of consumer in the decision making process. So, how do we conceptualize the term value? Uh, we conceptualize it from three perspective mainly, one is the anthropological perspective second is a sociological perspective and third is the psychological perspective. Following the anthropological perspective, uh, one of the very famous definition in this uh, purview is by Thomas and Jaranaiki uh, in 1927 and they define value as the objective and social elements which impose themselves upon the individual as a given and provoke his reaction. This definition actually focuses on the lifestyle and cultural pattern of the customer. So, uh, uh, the second one comes from the soci uh, sociological perspective and here uh, the value is act the term value is coming uh, from ideologies and customs when uh, we discuss it from the sociological perspective. That if the custom is if the uh, guest comes to the house, then I am offering some kind of uh, water uh, drinks or some kind of water um, and a, uh, some sweetener or whatever, I am just uh, welcoming him with some food or some drinks. So, this may be a custom, if I am not doing that, uh, maybe I am not following my uh, Indian value system, because that is how we usually behave. So, sociological perspective comes from that dimension and Bronowski in 1959 stated that a value is a concept which groups together some modes of behavior in our society. And the third one is of course, the psychological perspective and which we are more interested in. So, here value is coming from the standpoint of attitude and personal motives. Rokiak in 1968 he has defined value as a centrally held enduring belief which guides actions and judgments across specific situation 
and beyond immediate goals to more ultimate end states of existence. So, these are the three perspectives in which we study value. Now, what is the relevance of value in consumer behavior? If we discuss, first of all, values are very intensely held visions about good, pleasing, precious, and very important. We, we understand like if we see that uh, consuming cigarette is bad. So, uh, this is one of the val this is my value I, and that is my attitude towards that particular uh, consumption of that particular product. So, values are central points of people's existence as Rokiak has said in 1973. Rokiak has stated that various combinations of values significantly differentiate uh, men from women, hippies from non-hippies, hawks from dubs, policemen from unemployed negroes, good students from poor students, retail merchants from sales clerks, Jews from Catholics, Democrats from Republican and so forth. So, uh, maybe the value system in India uh, could be like this that you know the girls usually come back uh, before uh, a certain time at night maybe 8, 8 30 within that usually girls uh, come back home because of safety concern or something. So, if this is the internally held value system then that might differ from the boys because we might the societal belief is like this that the boys could be little safe after that time also. So, so we, we assume that in the evening sections, even if we have opened some evening course, we may assume that the major enrollment may be from the boys. So, this, this is the assumption that may, this may not be right and this might be changing also, but this is my inherent value system. This is not, I am not talking about what is right or wrong, but I am talking about the uh, health value system, which is a centrally held belief within a person. That is how an individual can think like. Uh, many behaviors are acted out to realize values. Values control the shaping of attitude and the ways in which information is processed. For example, most of the Indian female smokers feel very hesitant to buy cigars from the shop directly. Students usually do not consume cigarettes in front of the teachers or elders in the suburban towns in the country. So, this is exactly what I am saying is just the um, understanding of the centrally held belief of an individual. This might differ and it is not about right or wrong once again I am saying it is just about the central belief of an individual. Recent marketing research has shown that values have a noteworthy influence on among other things television watching habits. See I may feel that you know um, sports is mostly uh, the boys will like sports, the housewife will like uh, cereals and soaps. So, th these are uh, and uh, the head of the family may like to watch more uh, news channel, the kid will like to watch more of Cartoon Network. These are some kind of uh, beliefs or the value system which we think of, which is the centrally held uh, value system or habit which we have. So, the, th this uh, if you know this then actually the soaps and dramas could also be uh, shaped in that way or designed in that way that it caters to the sentiments of the housewives or maybe uh, the daily family uh, incidents could be portrayed in the uh, soaps and serials. Now, it is even about the activity preference, whether I like uh, to you know go for indoor sports, whether I would like to go for an outdoor sports, all this selection of a store. Uh, selection of a store is also about the value system, like I will just give us very small example like vegetables are available in the departmental stores as well like more and all. If you interact with some people those who are maybe in the age of uh, 60, 65, they will prefer to go to the sabzi mandi and buy uh, some uh, vegetables from there, because their assumption is like this that whatever uh, see in the departmental stores the kind of sabzis are not might not be fresh, that is what they think and that is why they will prefer to go to the sabzi mandi every day morning, okay, because they want uh, very uh, fresh kind of vegetables. So, this is a you know, kind of uh, purchase have a selection of store, but the person who is throughout the week very busy may be an IT professional where both uh, couple are working in the uh, IT sector may be very busy while coming back from home may be the sabzi mandis are already closed. 
but uh, you know they, they can go to the departmental stores and buy whatever grocery and vegetables they want in under one roof itself. So, they prefer that. So, you know you can see because of the value system how selection of store also matters, shaping consumer decision making factors, selection of products and brands, uh, cigar particularly cigarette and alcohol smoking these are very much determined by the value of the customer, value system of the customer. Values provide indication about how a particular culture functions when all the social functions rotate around the core cultural values of the society. It may be the occasion of marriage, how uh, the you know we know the Hindu marriage, Christian marriage and it all based, based on our religious value system, how we uh, go, the, how we perform different kind of rituals even or uh, some ceremonies. Some researchers analyze values as the individual depiction of the society's aspiration. Now, if the culture has to be understood, the exploration of the values of people in that culture, you know, shows the most potential preparatory point we can say. If you have to uh, work on say a multinational company, if they want to uh, sell their product in India, they have to understand the culture and subculture of India, the value system prevalent in each of the culture and subculture and then the only they can you know, uh, you know design their product or their communication message or even they can identify a particular segment. Even for cross cultural research value is one of the very vital issue. Kahale in 1986 has recognized that values diverge among geographical sections in the US. It is true in India also. Nonetheless, the comparative value varying internationally has also been an area of interest by many scholars. Now, we see the model of consumers value systems and this model which I told I will explain now about the Vincent Scott and Lamont model. Now, in this model uh, they have said Vincent uh, Scott and Lamont they have said that usually individuals belief system is uh, p or individuals belief system pivots around three major values. One is the core value or the global value of the customer. This is a very general uh, value system of the customer. The second one is the uh, domain specific value. Uh, it, it, it is about a particular transaction. I will come I will tell in details. Sec third one is the evaluation of product attributes. Uh, this is specific to the product. So, as we are saying global value is enduring beliefs concerning to the desired states of existence of modes or behavior and these exist in dozens actually. And when we talk about the domain specific behavior, this is like how we think about the economic transactions, whether uh, our value system is like you know uh, every day we will go to our nearest retailer, buy in small quantity and maybe he is maintaining a ledger book or credit book uh, in which we, the person keeps on buying things uh, entire week and in the weekend he goes and pays for that. So, is it, is that uh, what I like that is my domain specific value to selection of a particular retail because of the transaction I am habituated to. Some beliefs may be derived from some societal uh, things, some may be from the religious activities and these are actually hundreds. And evaluation of the product attributes is basically the uh, based on the features of the product. How do I evaluate a feature of the product? If a car says that the mileage, my mileage is very good, then um, do I evaluate the car brand as a very uh, preferable car, uh, car brand or not? Because mileage may not be my consideration, my consideration may be the comfort and the luxury of the car. So, if that value, uh, if that is how my product specific evaluation is, I may, I may overlook the mileage part which the uh, marketer is telling. So, therefore, we say that the central global values are more of centrally held values and this may be true not for one individual, this may be true for the entire culture even. And when we are talking about a specific product or a specific brand, so here it may it is less centrally held, it is individual specific. Why? Because uh, see car uh, whether um, I will just go in details that whether you need a car 
or you need a, you know you want to work more you want to be fit so you want to work more or you think that you know uh, like in um, certain country uh, certain you know countries just to uh, free the environment from pollution even the top government officials travel by cycle so do you have that value system about a product so that's why you are not consuming a car so therefore that's a, that's my a central value but my product specific value is when i am evaluating a car either by mileage or uh, by its uh, design or by its price or something like that a particular brand of car so there therefore this is more of my individually held perception or individually held value system and this side is basically the overall belief or the core culture of the country or a certain group of people so these are more of central things and uh, these all things are actually when we uh, say that these are actually influenced by the external environment individual socio cultural economic and familial uh, influence say uh, i learn to worship every morning if this is my value system i might have learned this from my family during my process of socialization so you know i have just shifted to uh, 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 say us and i have learned uh, certain kind of rock music or I, I started preferring that because i am actually having an acculturation which means i am started adopting that culture because i am staying there so that could be some kind of socio cultural impact on the customer so which might which we are seeing that the domain specific values are actually derived from this actually it's uh, all these factors Im, uh, has an implication on all these values, but still it has more implication on the domain specific values. Now, we see what happens if, if, if we little bit elaborate this now global values to domain specific values to valuation of the product. Now, see what happens in the study in Vincent's study only we are mentioning that this have shown that more liberal customers will have strong value system, we will have this kind of values. I am sorry, it is not strong, I am saying this kind of value system. What they will say that the globe regarding the global value, they are trying to say that they like exciting life, uh, they like the equality, uh, maybe the gender equality, uh, rich and poor equality, uh, and then they want they, they are very uh, keen about their self respect, they are forgiving in nature, they are intellectual and they want logical also. So, these are the uh, science of liberal customers in terms of core values. Whereas, these kind of customers it has been uh, it is coming out from their empirical study actually. In their empirical study they have found that the domains from this kind of customer the domain specific values would be towards more durable products, would be more non polluting products because they are socially conscious. Then they say health promoting products products which are easy to repair, so that they do not need to worry much, quiet products, noise free products help eliminate the environmental pollution. So, these kind of things. Now, say we are talking about um, automobile attributes in this case, they have done it in the automobile section also and which when they are choosing the automobile section or the automobile attributes, they are thinking of these attributes now. So, now this is the global value, this is the domain specific value and how they evaluate automobiles. They evaluate automobiles based on uh, which operate on unleaded gas because that is non polluting, high speed capabilities, uh, handling issues and easy to repair issues, quality workmanship because they want products easy to repair, advanced engineering because they want quiet products and durable products and low level of pollution emission. So, this matches with this, if these are the domain specific values, then this would be the product specific values. And there are some other issues which they have identified that is related to the uh, consumer products, they may look for compact cars and this kind of customer may look for some kind of outdoor recreation also. Regarding the social issues, this kind of customers are found to be uh, very thoughtful about the air pollution, the freedom of press and control of housing discrimination. This is about the liberal customers in US. Now, in US they have done the, uh, 
study actually on two groups. One group was related, uh, portrayed this kind of uh, study, uh, which this kind of uh, results and that is why they have named them as liberal consumers and this is for, this is another group, group number 2, which uh, Lamont, Scott and Vincent, they have named as traditional consumers and here they have found the global values they have is regarding the national security, salvation, polite, social recognition and the domain specific values they have is kind of prompt service and complaints. When they are thinking of automobile attribute, now they are thinking of smooth riding, they are thinking of luxurious interior because see why, because they are actually looking for social recognition. So, luxurious interior, prestige, large size, spacious interior. So, this kind of customers you can see here the difference between they, this, this was little bit different from what they are looking here as the product attribute and their choice regarding the consumer product obviously if it, if we are talking about cars then standard size cars not compact cars it is standard size cars because uh, and they are very stylish they will go for an attractive clothing they can like television maybe led television i mean a very advanced level televisions kind of things and regarding the social issues uh, since they are more security conscious here they will look more for crime control or the drug problem kind of things. So, this is how you can see in these three things by choosing the automobile attributes, choosing the consumer products, choosing the uh, talking about the social issues, these customers would be very different and that is why the name uh, the nomenclature of the two groups, the, the nomenclature they have done here is the liberal customer and they have done here is the traditional consumer. So, therefore, based on the value system actually we can segment the customer in different categories. So, some of the global issues we will discuss here with a special reference to India. So, one small example may be the alternative science which we talk in India, particularly when we talk about India like Ayurveda. Ayurveda has been talked about uh, from the age of Ramayana itself and even today uh, when the western concept of medicine has come still we hold our uh, value of um, this traditional medicine that is um, of Ayurveda medicine and Unani medicine uh, particularly for the Muslim uh, customers and that is why even government they in the mainstream government hospital has incorporated this Unani practitioners and Ayurvedic doctors as Ayush practitioners under NRHM that is national rural health mission. Now, with growing complication in these days another uh, thing which is cropping up is the concept of Shanti that is the concept uh, which thought which is thought that uh, meditation and yoga can be um, can provide some kind of peace of mind and that is why uh, the yoga camps and meditation camps even the music therapy for uh, meditation, music therapy for stress relief. Um, for anxiety relieving. So, all these things are becoming very, very popular day by day because uh, the, our value system is actually towards peace of mind. Every culture is defined by its own set of values as we understand. Now, some cultures focus more towards the individualism and towards attainment of social goal and according to the researchers by Worthlin worldwide hard work, respect for learning and honesty are the primary values considered by the Asian executives. On the contrary, the business people of US and Europe lay more emphasis on the value of sovereignty, independence and freedom of expression. So, we can actually divide them into two categories and this actually will not only help in consumer behavior, this will also help in understanding the organizational behavior also. So, value is actually having a widespread implication in both organizational behavior as well as in consumer behavior. And this diversity of values play an categorical role behind the success and failure of marketing efforts across different culture. In many cases, certainly the cultural values are general. For example, like the values from health, freedom, wisdom, etc. Nevertheless, several sets of values are undeniably being accumulated from the cultural heritage, religion, tradition and the overall beliefs and principles of the life. Like 
we have to worship the, the in certain festivals, we use incense sticks for puja. This kind of value system is basically coming from religion, tradition and overall beliefs. Especially in country like India, the cultural values uh, vary like its vast geography and people speak in diverse languages, they dress in diverse ways, they pursue different religions and they have totally different food habits across different states. Nonetheless, they pursue some common principles like respect for elders, honesty, hard work, deep rooted philosophy and harmony. Uh, in some uh, advertisement that has been shown even that when the person has been very accomplished, he is working in the abroad nations coming up with high tech technology, but at the end he is emotionally deep rooted with his Indian culture and coming back and touching the feet of the elderly people. So, this is how the cultural existence matters and then so whether it is a festive juncture or a minute of sorrow, people will protect all with their heart experiencing the bliss or curse together. So, maybe it is a Hindu wedding or Persi wedding or whatever we like to be with our family. So, all this kind of occasions are mainly the family occasions. Shalimar uh, coconut oil, we can see different um, recently we have seen cycle brand uh, incense sticks and all this even Cadbury celebration. Uh, this all shows how we celebrate the occasion mainly with our family. Another is the doctrine of karma. So, that again is the spiritual practice which we have and last thing which we have in terms of core values is basically the new age women of our country. Because people are becoming very independent uh, double income households and particularly we are seeing in the rural India different Swanidwar projects or self help groups are coming up and even uh, Hindustan liver kind of organization, they have encashed this kind of concept by their uh, project Shakti initiative, where they have uh, utilized the self help group uh, ladies in their uh, rural distribution network. And of course, finally, the culture of India is the tolerance and its rich cultural heritage. And as I have mentioned, this was the core values, the domain specific value may be as I have said, which we acquire from either the economic transaction or from familial transaction or from religious instruction that certain ritual has to be performed in certain way. So, manufacturers actually should provide prompt service and complaints, guarantee on products, work as advertised, be responsive and true to the customer particularly uh, for these domain specific values and there, there are many more, these are some of the things which Vincent has uh, mentioned. Vincent has also mentioned that product related attributes, this, this particular aspect is actually product specific and here the product can be durable, long lasting, fairly uh, fair product then reasonably fairly and reasonably priced product and non polluting product etcetera. Some things are talking about the product characteristics and finally, we will see what are the impact of values in marketing strategy formulation. The first impact of values in marketing strategy formulation is uh, about market analysis and segmentation which I have already mentioned. Vincent in 1977 also has mentioned that if large market segment can be identified on the basis of value profiles, the marketing strategists could develop programs which would maximally enhance the important values of the customer in each segment that is the religious minded customer or atheist customer. Or um, the researchers has also shown the four major cultural values. Uh, which that drove the brand choice like freedom, belongingness, excellence and connection. For example, a female surfer in the study of Vincent has shown that you know uh, not Vincent exactly, it is uh, in another uh, study in based on Australia, it has shown that she is very fond of belongingness. So, therefore, she has uh, you know she is always wearing popular and branded clothes, so that she can be socially recognized and uh, she can be in the uh, she, is, she is actually wearing what the brands which her friends and peer groups also wear. So, she is not an odd man out. So, some facets of brand reflection such as style, class tend to be more common across the culture, but other religious practices or subculture means are more likely to be pertinent in particular places. For example, the Japanese emphasize more on serenity, Spaniards on fiber, US towards more of rugged appeal. For product planning also, 
like uh, careful assessment of value orientation, emerging value trends will allow the identification of new product opportunities like Tropica in our country or the processed food in our country is uh, still suffering because we still have an understanding that the fresh food is uh, better and fresh home cooked food is cheaper and better. That is what is our understanding. So, the semi cooked food and this kind of packaged food fruit drinks these are still suffering because uh, majority of the middle class customers still have that kind of belief that uh, fresh fruits uh, brought from the market might be little more healthier than the packaged one. Then the regarding the promotional strategy of course, uh, you know uh, the cult this kind of value system plays a major role that you should not hurt the value system of the particular, cult particular culture, particular country while designing your uh, promotional message and particularly for your media selection that what is my value system. So, accordingly I will select several television programs. So, you know that in which media and at what time you can catch hold of a customer like me or you can catch the attention of the customer like me. So, that could be understood very clearly. Last but not the least some very whatever we have said so far we just try to summarize it that values are centrally held cognitive elements that stimulate motivation for behavioral response. Second uh, there are three major values global value which is the core value then the consumption related value and the values associated with product attributes and these are hierarchically connected. Uh, an individual hence an individual's attributes are ultimately based upon his values and the changing values could have profound impact upon this attitude and behavior as well for shaping marketing strategy. So, thank you so much for this session and we will meet in the next session till then goodbye.